why I'm thankful I struggle with porn as a Christian. One reason, two words, emotional intelligence. A lot of people, myself included, learn to disguise their emotions through sexual intoxication. A lot of us don't really know how to navigate our feelings. Because of the curse of sin and death, because of childhood trauma, because of the ignorance of generational family habits and patterns, a lot of guys don't have a clue what they're feeling, like feelings, like what even is that? Or maybe there is something rumbling underneath the surface, but it's big and huge and scary. For me, I lived a lot of my life jumping from one form of stimuli to the next. In all of this, how can we become emotionally knowledgeable in the wake of our unique tragedies? A great starting place is journaling. I'd always heard Christians toss around the practice of journaling, but it didn't really connect with me in, well, the very few times I tried it. So it just so happened to circle back around into my field of view, watching self-improvement YouTube videos. I was ready to write again and just see what happens. Interestingly enough, when I started, things started pouring out of me, but it wasn't the most discombobulated of ways. <laughs> but it was a launching pad. I began to realize something. Many times when I felt the pull of pornography calling my name, I noticed there was something else, something deeper, driving me to this thing, emotional distress. Unknowingly, I was feeling lots of agonizing things, and I just wanted some form of relief. What better solution than the most ubiquitous addiction on the planet, pornography. But the thing is, what if I actually faced those agonizing things and I wrote them down? I wouldn't need to hide anymore. I could experience real healing. So when I felt that discomfort come and the high of pornography came calling after me again, the thing is, I found a weapon of words. I wrote my feelings and discovered an emotional release. So I encourage you, give it a try. I definitely can't promise you it'll solve all your problems, but I definitely can say it's a great start.